This video, we are going to be tackling the longest substring without repeating characters leak code question. And this one is a slam dunk because it's asked ubiquitously across all tech companies. All tech companies ask this question and it's an easy medium. Sorry, there's like some kind of bug that's like flying around inside my room right now. So how do we actually identify how to solve this question? Easy, longest substring. Those two words right there will easily be, it's, if you ever see words like longest, maximum, uh, biggest, I get maybe biggest, but it's probably going to be longest and maximum. And it's also going to be coupled with words like substring, subarray. So if you have like maximum subarray, longest subarray, maximum substring that is a sliding window we're also going to throw in a hash set because hash sets going to since we're going to have to be finding repeating characters we're going to have to be searching and storing characters a lot so we're going to be using a hash set to get our time complexity down but don't worry about that right now we'll figure out the details later but let's just go ahead and do a quick overview of how this is going to work so First things first, because we are storing, because we're finding the maximum of something, we're going to need a nice piece of state. We're going to need a nice little variable to store our maximum in. So we're just going to create a uh, answer variable. We could call this maximum. You could call this answer if you want to. This is going to store the maximum. We're going to go ahead. We're going to initialize two pointers. We're not going to do this with a for loop. As usual, when we're using sliding window, we are going to be using a while loop and we're going to have a hash set. So go ahead, initialize these two variables. Once we get to every single letter that we go to, depending on if we find it or not, we're going to store it. If it is not already stored, we're going to go ahead and store it. And obviously we're at the very first letter, so we haven't stored any letters. At the very first letter, we'll go ahead, store the A. Once we store the A, we're gonna move to the B. There's no other, we ha we don't have this actual letter in the hash set right now. So we're going to go ahead, store the B, and we're going to keep incrementing our right pointer. We're going to keep searching with our right pointer. Once we come to a letter that has that is already stored, we're not going to increment the right. We're going to actually increment the left, and then we are going to delete that uh, repeating letter out of the actual hash set like this. And then we're going to keep incrementing our right. We're going to go ahead and store our A again. And this process is going to repeat. And each time that the actual right pointer uh, continues, we're going to go ahead and store the length as well too, or we're going to calculate the length. So all that we're going to do is we're going to minus the left and the right, and that's going to give us our length. And remember, each time that we increment our right pointer right here. We are going to be updating our max length. Anyways, that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy. Let's go ahead, hop over into VS Code and let's knock it out. So we are inside of Visual Studio Code right now. And first thing that I'm going to do is just type out the boilerplate method. We're returning the length. So we're just going to be returning an integer and the method name that Leak code gives us is kind of crazy. So length of longest substring. It's a pretty long one. So we're going to say length of uh, longest substring. We're going to be taking in a string right here. No surprises there. First thing that we want to do is we want to initialize our pointers because it's a sliding window. We're going to be having pointers and we're just going to go ahead and initialize them as integers. Uh, next thing, we're going to have to store our length because we're returning the length and we're returning the length of a longest substring. We need a nice little piece of state here to store that value. Otherwise, uh, we wouldn't be able to store it. And of course, we need our hash set. Hash set's what we're going to be using to store our actual uh, repeating characters so that we don't have to have a crazy time complexity. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this a char set and we'll use some super modern uh, syntax like new. All right, we're gonna be using a while loop usually when you're doing a uh, sliding window or a two pointer for that matter, we use a while loop and we'll just, this is just going to be a typical while loop that's going to iterate till the very end of our string. No surprises there. This is where we're going to check if the actual character is in the char set. So if the character is in the char set, 
or within our actual hash set, you call it char set, hash set, whatever you want to, uh, we are going to execute this code and we're going to be checking the right value. Uh, next thing right here, and actually I think I used too many brackets here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of those brackets. Uh, within here, this is where we're going to add it. So if it does not with it exist within the actual char set, we want to add it. We're going to go into here and we're going to go ahead and add s dot write. And here is where we're going to increment our right pointer over. We want to increment the right pointer because we need to continue searching. And this is a very, very, this is kind of a uh, leak code pattern, I guess you would say, that is extremely common. Whenever you are calculating the max of anything, uh, you're going to be using this pattern a lot. And what we're going to be doing is minusing the, the right and the left. And minusing the uh, right and the left is uh, used ubiquitously uh, inside of leak code to find the length. So the max length, or if you're ever finding the length of something, just remember uh, this leak code pattern right here combined with math.max is used everywhere. So I'd highly recommend just kind of saving that one up in your brain somewhere. Um, next thing that we're going to do, we're going to handle the one that's going to simultaneously remove the left and increment the leftover and since we're going to be continue searching, we're going to go ahead and increment that left over to the right. And that is pretty much it. We need to actually have a return outside of the while loop. So I'm going to say return um, max.length. And we are pretty much good to go. So that's an easy, easy medium and very common medium too. So let's go ahead, let's save this and let's uh, go ahead and run our test inside leak code. So I'm gonna go over here, get the leak code question out. I'll leave a link down below in case uh, you want the link and go ahead and here, of course, we're gonna move this one over. Go ahead, run it, make sure our test results run. Let's go ahead, submit and check our time complexity. So we've got, we have a n time complexity. Hopefully, yep, we have an n time complexity we have n memory, or we have a min n uh, m memory, and we are pretty much good to go. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.